my Ronus to the GMs this guy here? How you feel? Welcome back to Let's Play of Dragon Quest Eleven S. Last time round. Well, we uh, find out that Jade got captured, and unfortunately, we gotta rescue her. And in this episode, well, we plan to do just a thing. Um, I have grinded it a little bit to level 23, as you can see. That is the recommended level for this. I haven't grinded grind to level 23 for everybody, but it's close enough that I feel pretty confident in, um, in our ability here. Um, although I'm still worried because this fight can be quite, or this boss fight can be quite tricky if you don't know what you're doing. So, let's go in. We have saved it, so not terribly worried, but... to a fresh one! Whoever did the voice of this just enemy perfect. perfect. A warrior maiden of great skill. I smell it her skin. We must drain her of her essence while she is still fresh. Quickly give her to me. Got it. I won't be needing you to carry me any further, thanks. So this is who's behind it. <laughs> Sir Hendrik must have missed one when he cleared the monsters out of town all those years ago. <laughs> huh? Nicely done, Lassie. You'll forgive me, but we had a wee rummage around in your room, Vince. The liquid I found. Uh, that's what you drink before your fights, isn't it? What your friend here squeezes from the fighters you kidnap. That... that was you? <laughs> Perhaps. Not all humans are as stupid as our muscle-bound friend here. That's right, old man. Hendrix scarred me, but he did not kill me. The extract. It was the only way to regain my strength. So I had Vince bring me the... Choices to morsels. And why would he help me do such a thing, you ask? My labor to give him strength beyond imagining. Who could refuse such a juicy offer? Hmm? <laughs> I couldn't keep on winning forever. And if I wasn't winning, I wasn't bringing in the money we needed for the orphanage. Sorry, partner, but I can't let those kids down. Which means I can't let you and your friends leave. Yourself, laddie. Do you not see what that stuff's doing to you? That foul fluid wasn't he meant for human consumption. It's eating you from the inside out. It's a miracle you're still alive. Uh, oh, man. Uh, I guess 
Cheaters never prosper, huh? <laughs> Winners don't use drugs. Spent at last, old friend. Such a shame. Then I suppose I'll have to deal with you myself. Keep that thing busy. I'll see if I can get those people down. You do that, dear. You. All right, we got our boss, Art, or Arachnagon. It's a big, massive spider. This thing has about 1,250 XP. Recommended level 23. So this thing is is pretty tough. Um, so we are gonna um, Boulder Breaker. Definitely Boulder Breaker this thing. Mainly because this thing can hit twice. And can inflict poison. It does a lot of things. A lot of bad things. Um, I'm actually going to try and stop it. Think you're tough, do you? Um, go with a small heal. Surrender your soul! Yeah, that's the annoying part. Um, yeah, I might go, go frizzle here. Here we go, this is the annoying thing, the bottle. That good? Yeah, this is the problem with this fight. Sorry! Problem this fight. This is the big problem this fight. <sighs> Don't attack, Rab. Don't. I might have to. Mm, definitely have to heal here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use mid heal on Veronica. Spoke from Serena.
Nice. Got it. And don't come back. Veronica with with uh, Frizz does so much damage. And don't come back. I don't think you can come back. Sorry, had to nick a live from Tales of. I, I had no choice. A third-rate fighter like me. I mean, you had a choice to so not do it. Keep the place open. So when I heard that voice, drifting up from down here. Right beneath the orphanage, I... I listened. All I had to do was help him out, and he'd make me the toughest fighter around. It seemed like a pretty sweet deal. So I said, sure. I wanted to win the tournament so bad, needed that money so bad, I let him use me. I knew it was wrong. But that orphanage, man... That's where I was raised. Those kids are my family. I had to do it. I had to. <laughs> so you let your desire to help the Bairns get the better of you. Well, there's certainly been greater evils done for less good. He's so Scottish. I love him. I'll have a word or two with the mayor. Don't worry, lad. We'll make sure the orphanage is looked after. So, chin up, eh? Just don't let me catch you making deals with nasty beasts again. You hear? <laughs> Sir, I... I don't know what to say. Have successful souls kids for missing fires, level this friends for the night the end. Oh, I have to press I. Wakey, wakey, little soldier. Come on now, time to get up. I said, wake up! Jesus Christ, Elvando. Morning, darling. I believe that's like the sound from like bed, we need to help when you get you. cursed. In like the original that Dragon Quest, they never got around to giving you, or something like that. It's they it's like it's a sign from like an original Dragon moving. Quest. It's so fucking funny. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's so stupid. If you're looking for me, I'll be in the cheap seats. Don't forget to give me a wave. Why are you doing in the cheap seats, Silvando? You deserve like VIP seats. Anyways, we are back. Hey, what are you doing here? Did you oversleep or something? You better have a reader right away. The ward ceremony. Sorry, you saw the person at the desk. I'm Mr. Hendricks. Thought you just straight away. Okay. Hey, Eleven, it's time for the ceremony. Business back in the seat and ready to go. He's in the arena already. Everybody's waiting for you. Take you up there right away. You follow me. All right, everybody, it's time to bring this year's Masked Martial Arts Tournament to a close. It's prize giving time. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I give you our champions, the Invincibles! And now, to present the prize. Hold on, hold on. Seems kind of a shame to have the good folks of Octagonia come out and support us and not give them a show to enjoy. Why don't we make this interesting? I challenge you to a fight for the prize, partner. Winner takes all! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! The gauntlet has been thrown down! Now that's the stuff champions are made of! No backing out now, unless you want to ride on your hands. <laughs> I don't want one. <laughs> Fooled ya. I don't do that stuff no more. I fight clean or not at all. Now let's do this! <laughs> yes, you do have to fight Vince! And he has a boss fight! Well, let's sort of. This thing. Oh yeah! And but what I mean by sort of is um Yeah. Physically you cannot lose this fight. I feel you can't lose this fight. I'm sure there's probably a, somebody that has done that, somebody that has managed to somehow allow Vince to win, but he continuously misses his attacks. So it's designed for you to win. It's all over! The champ is down! We have a winner! Vince looked kind of weak out there. He sure did. What's gotten into him? I needed people to see that. To see that I ain't nothing without that juice. I never had what it takes to be the champ. You deserve that prize, man. Thanks. You taught me what it means to be a fighter again. I won't forget this time. We love you, Vince! Thanks for putting it on the line for us every time! You're a true champ, man! me great pleasure to announce that the winner of the rainbow is this is bad this is real bad huh? <sighs> it's the rainbow it's gone <gasps> and all there was instead was this and this letter too Looks like it's for you. Come and meet me in Dundrasil. I've something to show you. Don't worry about the rainbow. It's safe with me. What a shocking twist to end our tale, ladies and gentlemen. The grand prize snatched from under our champion's nose by none other. Than old man Rab! Will our hero journey to Dundrazil to claim what's rightfully his? How will it all end? I, for one, can't wait to find out! Dundrazil, huh? So it's back to where it all began. Hmm. <sighs> Thank you.
Well, we have where we need to go. And we get the other shooter, uh, champion of Andrea achievement. But yes, we, we now know where to go. So let, let's let's go there. Uh, but first, actually, before I proceed, uh, there's actually quests. Talk to you. So that that side quest we can't but, uh, we can't complete it just yet. We need an item from from the place we're going to to uh, get that. But um, but this one I think we could do right now. I think. Let me just check. I think I can do this right now. Yeah, I can do this right now. So in order to get the uh, the shadow, a he is just up here, I think. This guy. And we get the mark of zero. And we get a mini medal for said quest. Right, so let's get out of here. Save it first. So as you can see on our map here, we need to go uh, across here from Octagonia. That's our next quest. Going the wrong way. No, we can go this way. We could always go this way, but um, it's just better to. Uh,
have to go this way after. We're actually going to go up here first. Even though this isn't the way to go, this is actually the way to a sparkling water. So I don't think this is how you get this. Yeah, no, it's not. You need to go round and down, that's right. I totally forgot that's how this works. Is all this worth it? Well, it's for a Britney spot. For a chunk of silver or You can decide whether or not that's worth it. No, this next area is pretty big. It's pretty big and there's a lot of enemies here. But a lot of enemies also means a lot of items. One of which you can fairy flush up the stein. And we get Melovera. Not gonna get that. <coughs> Not going to uh Submit that side quest just yet, but we have it. Now, there's actually an item in here, but you're probably wondering how to get to it. Well, you have to go around this building. And up around this, uh, this little uh, cliffside here. Very, very easy to miss this. And I did. Because I don't think I jumped. Because platforming is not my forte. Got it. Time up. And we get. And the blades. This thing's pretty good if I remember correctly. That's a big wager. Huh. It's probably stronger in terms of like. That's a birdie. No, actually, face. Face attack is actually lower. Although this goes up to 38 and this goes up to 47 total. So technically it is stronger, but eventually, if you decide to upgrade it. Alright. This is where we need to go, right here. Because um, I want to get this place marked on our zoom map. So let's grab that. rest. So you actually have to rest in order to mark it on your zoom map. So you need to do that. And I need to re also be reminded that I do need to uh, get to... Um, I need to get uh, a bee. I need to get a bee enemy. I forgot about that. The side quest. We 
get another recipe book. No, the actual things that we get, it's pretty good if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, yeah. Basically, it's equipment for um, Silvando. Gives him massive evasion chance and defense. So you might as well, you might as well even just get this. Because it is basically an accessory for uh, Silvando. Best, but we got it. Plus one. We get five perfectors pearls on top of that. Yeah, this is a pretty good accessory for Zaldando. I can equip it for the uh, for that. So with that, we can now go back to our campsite. Now I need to find a bee. I think the bees were up here or not. Thank you, Serena. Veronica wins again. All right, so this chest we need a bee for, so that's why we go get a bee. It's way over here. There's also a sparkly spot with a silk blossom. More importantly, a Tresillian Sovereign. This thing sells for a lot of money. Alright, let's uh it's mine. Don't really need you after that. Be a butterfly wing here. Got it. And you are toggle. Get another password. Ah, the rainbow mines. I think I can do that right now. Yeah, another rod of Rapidi, which we don't need, just got one. <laughs> we already made one. Um, so that big circular place is where we need to go, but we're actually not going there right now. Um, instead, we're going to go past it. 
And uh, there should be a guest here somewhere. I'm just trying to figure out where it is. Ah, here it is. Sort of up around. You do need a bit of platforming for this. We all know that I specialise in platforming. But, do you get Seed of Life? All the way over here. Bop. Grab this. Pump a fairy fluff. And we need to go all the way across here. Because believe it or not, in this little area right here is a sea of point. But also more important. This little chest right here contains yet another mini metal. <laughs> There's one more item to get because I forgot it until now. Fair to me, it's uh, not exactly an easy item to find. Oops. Oh well, get to fight the enemies. <laughs> There's a sparkly spot, right here. A Tresillian Shadow. Yes, sparkly spot with a, basically a, um, replenishable money source. You know it's good. Right, so, next time on Dragon Quest XI S, we'll actually head into the room, what seems to be the rooms of Dumbstrol, and find out what's there. So, that being said, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give a comment, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, compartment, and turn it. The following post is for all.